When you're picking a stockbroker or trading platform, often one of the first things you'll look at are the fees. But if you're just thinking about the fees, you could be missing out on a lot of really great trading features and resources that could take your investment strategy to the next level. Plus, the fees you see at face value aren't necessarily the fees you'll get. Like some brokers charge lower fees the more you trade, while other brokerage fees go up the bigger your trade size. It all comes down to how often you trade and what you're trading. So today I'm going to be looking at five trading features you should be taking into account when you're choosing an online broker. And just as a heads up, this video is sponsored by IG. And if you're interested in trying out the trading platform, I've left a link in the description below. Just a word of warning, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and take your personal circumstances into account. So before picking a broker, you'll need to have an idea of what you want to invest in. Like stocks are one thing, but are you more interested in trading Australian stocks or US stocks, or perhaps you'd like to buy shares from European markets or Asia? Brokers actually offer pretty select stock markets. For example, some platforms only offer Australian stocks and some just have US stocks and others have a mix of multiple global stock markets. And some brokers such as IG also let you trade outside of the regular market hours. This is called pre-market extended hours or after hours trading. And it makes it easier to take advantage of market volatility as it happens. And beyond stocks, there are lots of other assets you can invest in through trading apps, including gold, cash, ETFs, and cryptocurrencies. So before you sign up, check what the broker offers you first. Most online brokers will have a minimum or maximum amount that you can trade. For example, a lot of Australian brokers require that you invest at least $500 into each Aussie company that you hold stocks in, which can feel like a lot of money if you're just starting out. Other brokers let you start from just a few dollars and some even let you buy portions of stocks rather than whole stocks, which is called fractional investing. Of course, there are always fees to consider if you're trading small amounts frequently. It all comes down to how much you'd prefer to invest. IG, our sponsor, has a minimum of $90 per trade in Australian dollars for Aussie stocks and US dollars for US shares. Once you know how, it's not that hard to buy stocks. The tricky part is deciding which stocks to invest in. This is where it's important to have a range of research tools. Not all brokers will offer these options. For example, a feed of company news announcements can keep you up to date with any major changes that could impact stock prices, while stock analysis tools like broker ratings, financials, and other fundamental data can help you navigate whether a stock is a worthwhile investment. Plus, some brokers offer their own market research options, including analysis articles, webinars, and courses to keep you abreast of stock and commodity markets here and overseas. Research tools are really important, but how and when you place a trade can also be key, especially if you're a more active trader. And trading tools can give you greater control over how you trade. For example, more experienced traders will use technical analysis charts to determine when the best time is to buy or sell stocks. And these charts come in all shapes and sizes with a multitude of different features, depending on your broker. Then there are the options available to buy and sell your stocks. Like for example, some brokers only let you buy shares and ETFs using a market order. This means you can buy at whatever price you're currently trading at. Others will give you a range of conditional orders or limit orders that let you select the price you'd like to buy or sell at. Kind of like bidding at an auction. And then there are also stop loss orders that can be used to minimize how much loss you're going to incur by automatically selling before a price drops too far. And this is especially useful if you're doing advanced trading, like trading with leverage. When you're investing in stocks, you want to know that your money is sitting with a trusted platform. Before you sign up to any broker, check that it has been approved by your local regulator. In the case of Australia, that would be ASIC, and you can check their registry. It's also really important to have somebody that you can easily reach out to if you have issues with the platform. For example, maybe the platform is frozen during a really important trade, or you're having issues withdrawing or depositing money. Having a live chat help desk as well as a 24 hour phone line for support are especially handy if you want to get a quick response or it's urgent. So those are the five features I think you should consider aside from fees before you sign up to an online broker. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe and leave comments in the section below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching.